Today we're checking out another projector from Vizzoni. I want to thank them for sending this over to review on the channel. It's currently on sale for $280, but I'll leave a link down below with current pricing and more information. This one has built-in Android TV, also has autofocus, auto keystone, 800 ANSI lumens, also has Wi-Fi 6. This has native 1080p resolution, but also supports 4K as well. It's got dual band Wi-Fi with 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. Also has Bluetooth 5.2. And I sort of like this bigger style. Usually it's got really good audio. It has 15 watt dual stereo hi-fi audio. Inside the box, you've got your user manual, cleaning cloth, HDMI cable is included, power cable, audio video adapter, fairly small remote control. You've got quite a few things to control on here. Power, mute, home, settings, directional arrows, menu, back button, volume up and down, focus, plus and minus. You've also got a signal button and a mouse button as well. So you've got touch controls here on the top, power, directional arrows, okay button, back button, and then focus, plus and minus. This one actually looks really nice in person. It's a nice blue metal grill here on the front. It's got a lens cap and then remote control sensor there on the front as well. You've got some ventilation on both sides. Speakers here towards the bottom. All the connections are here on the back where you plug in the power, two USB ports, two HDMI ports. Kind of nice, you also have an ethernet port, audio video, headphone jack, and remote control sensor there as well. Here on the bottom, you've got four rubber feet, which you can pop those off if you wanna mount this to a ceiling. A little bit different style, adjustable foot here on the bottom as well. Now, once you get this hooked up, nice thing is it automatically adjusts the focus and keystone settings. As far as the home screen goes, it does look a little different than some other projectors that I've tested. It seems okay, probably personal preference, but it does seem like there's a lot of stuff going on. Mainly just a lot of app shortcuts to choose from. In settings, you've got Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, app settings, language, date, boot settings, projection image settings, factory reset, system local update, and about. You can see what the source or signal choices are over there on the side where you can switch back and forth between devices. The screen quality on here is actually quite nice. It's got good detail, nice contrast, and it's probably one of the better projectors that I've tested as far as screen quality and ease of setup. One issue I did have was with the remote control where I had to have it pretty close to the projector in order to use it. The buttons are really squishy on here too. I had to push on the remote several times, sometimes before it would respond. So either the batteries I'm using in the remote are getting pretty weak, which is possible, or the IR sensor needs to be a little bit stronger. The built-in audio is crazy loud with this projector. In fact, you probably wouldn't need an external speaker unless you want the extra bass. Here's a quick sample just to give you an idea of what it sounds like. Just know it's very loud compared to others I've tested, and I only had to turn it up to maybe a quarter of total volume. I also tested my iPad 10 on here and it was nice and sharp. You could easily use this for presentations and things like that with no problem. It was also nice to play mobile games using my iPad and Xbox controller, which worked really nice, only had very minor delay. I think this would be a good option for gaming, obviously depending on which games you're playing, but testing out my Xbox Series X with Rocket League seemed to be fairly smooth, surprisingly better than I thought it would be. Sure, it's not as good as a gaming PC or using on a 4K TV, but still really nice for this category of projector. It's also good for retro games as well. I can see this being a good option for anyone wanting to use this in their game room, movie theater, or if you just want to give this as a gift. If the remote control on this one was the same as the Vazoni RD830 that I also reviewed. This would easily be one of the best projectors that I've tested recently. Oh. 